Hi guys, um, just a, a bit of a sad story that's quite close to my way of thinking here um, regarding the lockdown, people's mental health. I've in the past worked with mental health, people with mental health issues. Um, I'm also a psychiatrist and have certain qualifications so I understand better. People are working the commons and the lords and so forth. They don't understand fully the extent of what goes through people's minds. Um, what I really wanted to show you is um, this case here. A uh, mum that has killed her son. Uh, doesn't look like she's... Um, had the issues in the past. Her son did have mental health issues. Sorry I'm a bit slow. It's uh, a little bit upsetting to say the least. She's um, Olga Fema. She's 40 years old. She's pleaded not guilty. Uh, she, but she's pleading guilty of the old Bailey to manslaughter. It turns out um, she's got a 10 year old son that suffers suffering, she suffered from a mental health breakdown. Her son was suffering from mental health issues anyway and physical issues. Um, he was attending a special school five days a week. Now it was hard enough um, having a given birth to a son that's as a mother I would imagine, as a, a father I find it hard enough if my son or daughter had any mental health or physical health issues. But you know, a, a mum, it must be so much worse, I can only sympathise. And then she's having to deal with this because obviously the school's completely closed, there's no social service help there for her anyway. Uh, a lot of people have been dropped by social services and family support because of the COVID-19 and the lockdown issues yet again for the third time. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details. Um, August 16th, um, she flew to Tel Aviv. You know, she she carried on with this for quite some time. Whether it's legit or not that she did it because of her mental health issues being brought on by the lockdown, it certainly seems to me like it had a, a, a great effect on it here. But she'd, obviously she'd been having using local authority services and so forth for the assistance. It's just another tragedy. It's just another young life that has been lost and another young life, um, his mother, who's 40 years old. Uh, mother and son that's been parted, a husband and wife that's been parted forever. This is not just one year, 12 months, 9 months, two, 18 months. This is forever guys. Um, to me, I'm stunned. I really am. You know, I, I'm aware that suicides shot up by 200% and domestic violence has shot through the roof and self-harm is a really big issue and the antidepressants that are being handed out is it's an issue but when you see something like a young girl like this um, it's upsetting Um, anyway, I'm going to turn that off because, um, anyway, shouldn't let emotions, um, go into this, but I'm a human being, same as you are. I'd like to, um, ask you as normal, subscribe, um, I'll, I'm going to try and bring you some more, hopefully happier things, just, um, 
some things I just feel like I, I should share because to make a, a bit more awareness of 40 year old people murdering their own boys after 10 years it, it's just not normal to for a woman to do that in the first place thanks for watching as normal um, thank every one of you please subscribe please share with your friends please help me grow hopefully I haven't upset you as I've upset myself. Thanks guys.